Well, they said AI was gonna come for software developers, but testers, QA engineers, you're not safe either. Yes, you, Robert. Anthropic just announced Claude, which is already a really good model, but they've announced something called computer use. They've announced a bunch of things, but this one really caught my attention because this takes AI to a newer level. We keep getting these new levels of AI, but this one actually can programmatically use your computer. And they've released a reference implementation, which I wanna show you. So just Google for Claude computer use, and you'll come across this page right here on Anthropic's website. In their docs, this is computer use beta. This is a beta feature. Please be aware that it's dangerous. It's risky. You really don't wanna do this. Uh, just go away from our website right now. But if you're curious, you can keep reading. The important thing here that I wanna point out is you can use this through an API, but they give you a reference implementation, which is what I'm running right here. Here. If you saw Anthropic's uh, intro video, which I'm not gonna play here, but you can go check it out. Well, I'll play a little bit. I'm Alex, I lead developer relations at Anthropic. Hi Alex, I'm Alex too. Let's ask Claude to navigate to Claude.ai within my Chrome browser and ask Claude within Claude.ai to create a fun 90s themed personal homepage for itself. Very meta, right? He's asking the agent to go and open up the Claude website and then have that Claude website generate and 90s theme website. I'm gonna try that, I haven't tried this yet. But what I did try was this, calculate one plus two. And normally when you go and ask Claude that, it'll tell me that the answer is three. By the way, I love how concise that is. It didn't give me an essay. But this tool needs to use the computer to do this. It can't just answer me. So it's gonna try and figure out what tools are best to get the answer for me. In this case, it's going to use bash. Using the expression command, it figured out that it was three. Notice that this little window here is a little virtual machine it created. So this setup runs two services and I show how to set all this up, the reference implementation. I made a separate members video for that. By the way, if you wanna join and become members, you get extra videos. Uh, there's a join button right down below. But the reference implementation spins up a few different services. One of them is this computer use demo service that has your anthropic key. You get to select the model right now it's just one model and it spins up a virtual machine that has a browser, it has a terminal, it has a calculator. So it has all those different tools at the disposal of Claude Sonnet with computer use. It also spins up this other window where it combines the two interfaces together so you can see them both at the same time. Now we're gonna say do it again, but don't use bash. Let's see what it does this time. Okay, now it's simply performed the calculation directly. What other tools can you use? Use the computer, because the nice people are watching my video and I need to show them how this works. I swear, this was working just a minute ago. Okay, look at this, it's gonna do, uh, it's gonna do the computer stuff. I understand, let's demonstrate how to use the computer tool to perform a calculation using the calculator. So the calculator is one of the tools available, it's gonna figure out how to use this, and there's the answer. It's going to look, take a screenshot of that, and hopefully provide me with the answer. There it is. Now use the browser. You don't have to tell it what tool to use. The whole point here is though that it can decide what is the best tool for the job. It's an agent. It goes on your behalf and does stuff for you without you having to tell it what to do. So we're kind of missing the point here, but I want to demonstrate the capabilities. So I'm making it do all these things manually. And there it is, it opened up a browser. It uh, found the calculator on Google, and now it's going to try and determine that the answer is three, yes. So what about this demo right here? Please navigate to a new Chrome window, navigate to Claude AI, and once loaded, ask Claude to create a personal website with a 90s style theme. Let's paste that in and see what it can do. By the way, I did notice that they're using a Mac interface here, a desktop, a virtual Mac desktop, and mine is not. It looks like it's not going to do what I ask it to do, specifically open up another website and type stuff in there, which is kind of a, a shame. Let me try this again. I noticed that there is Firefox here, not Chrome. Please navigate to a new Firefox window. I know that it can do that because it just did that with the calculator. Navigate to Claude AI and ask Claude to create a personal website. Let's try it again. Okay. Can I go to can I go to Claude AI on this thing? Does it need an account? I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, I don't like giving away my credentials here, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's try um, something else. ChatGPT doesn't require a login. Use chatgpt.com instead, which doesn't require a login. 
<laughs> Let's see if they've programmed this not to uh, go to the competitor's website. Ah, it's not going. My critical instructions prevent me from accessing chat communication platforms. Fine, do it your way. File created successfully at tempindex.html. It created uh, the 90s style website with several iconic elements, starry background, comic sans, MS font. There is index.html in there. So I've saved this file to my desktop on my Mac. There it is. It's a 90s website, except mine had animated GIF flames back in the day. Nice. We're missing some images, but that's perfect because that's how a 90s website should look like. So I think the trend here is pretty fascinating. Unfortunately, this probably means that uh, more people will suffer a little bit of job loss because I can see this automating UI testing tools quite nicely. When you write an application and you want to test it out using UI tools, you have to program all that manually or use other automation tools to train it. But now the AI can do it and it can figure out the right testing plans and write all that out and then go through it. Or it could be a really good way for QA engineers to leverage this to create the testing plans for them, thus allowing you to take a longer lunch break. So what do you think about this kind of tool? Is this something you're going to play with? Clearly, it's in, still in beta. There's still some kinks. It's not even close to the demo that they showed, but I think there's potential there. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.